is one of the most fascinating characters. And as historians throughout the state see it, for a few months in the year 1780, Francis Marion kept the British from taking over the South during the American Revolution. Earlier that year, America had lost three armies in quick succession at Savannah, the fall of Charleston, and they were annihilated at Camden. He was one of the few uh, officers left um, during the fall, after the fall of Charleston, one of the few officers left in the, in the region that carried on the cause of the American Revolution. If the South had collapsed, uh, to make a very long, complicated story short, the war would have very possibly been lost. A frail man, Francis Marion stood just five feet tall, had bad knees and almost crippled ankles. But his hit and run tactics and ability to evade the British forces earned him the nickname, the Swamp Fox. General Benaster Tarleton was chasing uh, Marion through the swamps and after about uh, a 10 or 15 mile chase through the swamps, several hours, um, Marion was eluding him, keeping ahead of him and, and Tarleton was frustrated and, and uh, said, uh, well, uh, let's go. Let's go north and try to find uh, General Sumter as for this damned old fox, uh, the devil be with him and all that sort of thing. So he got from that. And what many may not know is that several of these battles Marion and his militia fought against the British took place in Berkeley County. At least 15 battles from Strawberry Ferry to Wadboo Plantation. It was a central point, so it was a, a, a critical point. As a matter of fact, uh, Marion spent the last two months of, his, uh, of the war in uh, Berkeley County. And why not? Marion was born in Berkeley County and lived there for years, a place called Pond Bluff, which is now under Lake Marion. Berkeley County also serves as the leader's final resting place. His gravesite is at Belle Isle Plantation, the home of his brother, just outside Pineville. Berkeley County is probably, in the surrounding area, probably has more uh, historic sites than almost any place in the state. Over 200 years later, much more is still being learned about Francis Marion and his life. Stephen D. Smith is an historical archaeologist from the University of South Carolina. This is from a campsite, uh, one of Francis Marion's campsite in the um, uh, area of Berkeley County. Smith says his latest findings from sites in Berkeley County show Marion and his men doing quite well. His um, dietary output was quite well for his men, uh, right, so they weren't really starving in the backcountry. They were doing quite well. So that's kind of an interesting new insight. And in an effort to keep the memory of one of South Carolina's greatest leaders alive, Bob Barrett is the executive director of the Francis Marion Trail Commission and in charge of establishing a network of trails and sites dedicated to Marion's life, one that started and ended in Berkeley County.